My name is Donnelly Donaldson. I was 24 years old when I went missing on July 11, 2022 in Kingston, Jamaica. It was the day after my birthday. With my little black bag clutched tightly in my arms, my mother last saw me when I went into my boyfriend, Noel's BMW. He is a Jamaican police officer who I had been with for three years. I told her that I would be back the next day. I couldn't even imagine what was waiting on me there. We got to his apartment and spent time together as we always did, but something sinister was brewing. At times, his baby mother would come to his place when I was there to fight me, how does she know? At 8 a.m. the next day, I called my mother. I told her to feed my dog, China, and that I will be home soon to walk her myself. Little did I know those were the final words that she would hear from me. My brother from Cleveland called at around 4 p.m. and we spoke briefly. He called my mother after and told her to call me to take her to the hospital. I didn't pick up that call. When I didn't return home, my mother was worried. Something truly sinister had happened to me. As the night dragged on, she became overwhelmed with fear because my phone was now off. Noel called my mother around 11.30 p.m. He told her that I had left with a friend. That was a lie. My mother caught him in many more lies surrounding my disappearance. He spoke about a phone call that I had with my father to pick up birthday money from MoneyGram. The thing is, that phone call happened at 1 p.m., long after he claimed that I had left his house. I didn't get the chance to enjoy my Earth Strong properly or even collect the money my father sent. My life was robbed, and now I watch in silence. Please, don't forget me. Guys, you see, today, today is a very special day. I remember this story is one of the first stories that I follow up on that when I start to do live stream at night time. And trust me, it was... When would I put it now? This girl, Danali, she made my platform reach to another level. So I will always remember that name, Danali Danielson. May her soul rest in peace. And listening to that clip a while ago, it just gave me goosebumps. And, you know, um, guys, I want to always remember that girl. I want to put in a comment, justice for Danali, no matter what. If I two, three years, no matter what. You understand? When you listen to that, you can realize it just have a reflection of the whole story. You understand? And this girl opened up doors for a lot of platforms. Andre Stevens, Mix Up Boss. What heap of other channel I can name out? I don't lie. You understand? So, I saw feathers go and hang in the area. I hope everything work out in our favor when that day comes when they rule everything. Anyway, guys, yeah, make that stay there, so you can put in a comment. R.I.P. Danali. I remember Danali. Anything you want to put, just put something towards Danali. Anyway, I'm going to the video from Friday. You know? I'm going to Friday. Friday or Saturday, but I want to put it to you. Know? I feel like today is best if you put it to you. Know? All right? So, the Prime Minister went to a house opening and he was greeted by this lady. If you know, follow the story, one lady come out in the public and said, Mr. Prime Minister, the road bad, she a big one, thank you. You don't remember the story there? But anyway, the lady in go do a house opening right up in a fear district. And she go there and she finally meet him and this is what happened. Only listen to this if you don't see it already. Drive and listen. Lady asking for the donkey. No. I am the lady asking for the donkey. No, asking for a donkey. Yes, I am asking for a donkey. Where, where you get donkeys donkey. to buy? I don't know. I don't know. Where you get donkeys? To buy? Well, they have donkey down here and the yes, the level part of the land down here. Yes. If you understand that, the land village is a good one. So how much they sell a donkey? Well, here say about a hundred thousand. The taxi man them charge me all three thousand dollars for just dropping a little piece of farm wood. Then the poor barrel, oh God, maybe the father there back and push me there front of all. It's very hard. So I really want to want them. See, I'm a bush at work, see, I'm dirty, I'm in the bush and I run cross over, they come over, I just don't see them for you to be the donkey. Yes, I really need the donkey. I am in need of a donkey. No, but, 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 for that joke aside, there's, there's nothing wrong with asking for that. Yes. Yes. The, the, the donkey has been a, a constant feature of our agriculture yes from day one yes that has been the beast of birth yes. and they have been quite good at it yes and so nobody should look down on your request yes. your request yes is taken seriously by yes. me and your mp i am going to make a contribution to it yes and your mpa i am volunteering him yes. to make a contribution so you will get your done yes all right because it's very but, hard because yeah, my daughter is retarded it's so hard for me to give her one bag of feed and for carry no yeah. but not that and she has down syndrome she has a problem with carry her no. yes she has down syndrome i'm here 
Who's the baby? She's the one that had Down syndrome. syndrome. Okay. I take them to the bush every day. So you see me, I carry them to the bush. I want to dance. I could have put it to them for me if I ride. I have two. All right. Say no more. I have milk for fertilizer. Say no more. I have a farm. I don't know. So I have to have a farm product. I can't have nothing else. Come, give me a big hug. Yes. I'm not going to do it. All right. Yes. All right. You go and get it. I go and make sure you get it. Oh, God help me. <laughs> I'll be able to put the video in my life. <laughs> Prime Minister said, <laughs> Guys, <laughs> boy, may I tell him? All right, uh, guys, <laughs> let me know when I comment on anything about the video. Like this thing. <laughs> oh, boy, sometimes we can't take everything too serious. No, but that one, that one, that one, that Oh God. Hi, Father God, if you're busy, contact my phone for me, man. Yeah, guys, so <laughs> the Prime Minister said, I'm going to make sure you get the donkey and then thing this up. We're going to look out for the video there. No, yo, Jamaica always I keep with something, I know. Always I keep, me, I tell you. But, guys, <laughs> yo, big up on yourself, yeah, man. We'll play one next video. Look more. All right? Love you now. Please comment and like. I'm out. So today is my rant. Um, so the government decides that they're going to print new money. Very pretty, pretty money. Pretty, pretty money. But guess what? It don't work in many machines. It can't work in the Digicel kiosks to pay a bill. Can't work in the flow kiosks to pay a bill. It can't work in the ATMs because it will not disperse the money out of many of the ATMs. So we're stuck with cash. It's almost useful. Think about it. So we have cash that can't work in machines. We have ATM machines not working. We have point of sale machines that are always down. And you have signs that says we apologize for the inconvenience. But we want to go cashless. Jamaica says we're going cashless, we're going digital. I think you need to look back at that and I think you need to get the fundamentals right. Money never needed to be changed at this time, it's just a cost that we did not need. And we need to get the fundamentals right, get the ATM machines working, the point of sales machine always working, the new pretty money be able to work in all different machines. I don't even think they work in the old counting machines. So the banks are having an issue probably. So we need to look at that. Now, we blame us as a third world country, but I can say that I've been to some countries and I've never gone to a restaurant and the point of sale don't work. I've never seen a sign that says we apologize. I've never gone to an ATM and it don't work. And I've never been into a bank that I have to sit there for hours waiting to get service. We need to get our act together. Bank of Jamaica need to look at what's happening. I need to get the fundamentals right before you look at expanding for cashless and digital and trying to look at that to go first world. Get our little systems working first. That's just my advice.